Here at Violet Mitchell, we are passionate about using ethical products and supporting young entrepreneurs. So I'm joined today by Steve Fox, our purchasing director, who is going to share his picks from both ethical products and from our BM Inc range, which supports young entrepreneurs. Over to you, Steve. Hey, hello. So um, because of COVID, um, we've not been able to run product promotions into our business. And so what we're going to do today is take you through some of the new products that have come my way, which under normal circumstances, we would probably be trialing in our business, but alas, not right now. So I've got a couple of um, sort of energy drinks to uh, introduce you to first. The first product I want to introduce you to is Dragon Drink, and it's a turmeric infused uh, energy drink with added um, electrolytes, botanical extracts and vitamins. Um, this is a sugar based drink, so um, it has 4.9 grams of sugar per hundred, which is considered low sugar. But, um, you know, if you're if you're wanting to avoid the carbs, then this you know, will, will not fit that. But there's one big thing it does do. This product is great for a hangover. OK, <laughs> so it plays quite an important part in my life for those of you that know me. OK, so it does what it says on the tin. So no more flat Coke and um, Walker's uh, um, Worcester sauce crisp, which is the other cure, apparently. This one's good. OK, um, really nice. It's got no caffeine in it, which is the other benefit, because if you are caffeine sensitive, then this is for you. So that's one drink that you could use as a alternative to say the Red Bull and those kind of artificially um, enhanced products. The other product is uh, called Virtue. Very nice packaging. And um, it's a uh, Yerta Matey. Comes in two flavors, strawberry and lime. This does contain caffeine, but it contains no sugar. So, oops, nearly lost that one then. Oh. So um, if you're, I used to use, in the days when I was a gym bunny, which are mercifully behind me now, I used to use, this would be the, my drink in the mornings when I was trying to motivate myself to go and um, do a hundred squat thrusts or some other ridiculous thing. And this would just give you that little kick. So it, what it does is, as I say, it gives you energy, um, but no carbs. So again, works out, works out well. So those are the two um, interesting, um, uh, uh, health-based drinks. Now the other product I've got is a can, another canned drink, and this is the last one, and this is called Guna. Okay, so hopefully you can see. Well, I'll show you them each time. So it comes in three flavors. That one is ginger and lemonade. This one is pink, uh, pink lemonade, raspberry lemonade rather, called Pink Punk. So it's all terribly trendy. And then the third one is lemon and mint. Okay. Now these are really cool drinks. And the other thing they include is they give you these really cool recipe cards. Oh, cool. Okay? And the idea is that you use these drinks to make cocktails, okay? So in the day, again, in this area where lots and lots of people are not drinking, don't get that myself, but hey, we've all got our own way to be. So these are all really good for making cocktails because the flavor profiles are, are stunning. You know, it's probably the tastiest canned drink I've ever tasted. Again, does have sugar in it, 4.9. Um, again, low sugar, um, but no sweeteners. And so it's all natural ingredients. So yes, Saguna, again, is a, is a really interesting product. Um, would definitely be good for having use for even, you know, hospitality type businesses where clients want alcohol free. And it's really good. One other product, alcohol free, which I can't believe I've got in my house, but it's a bottle of Cotswolds number one, which is an alcohol-free spirit. Ooh. I know. <laughs> anyway, um, I've given this a try because I'm not. It's, it's rare that I would drink an alcohol-free spirit myself, um, but I have got friends who strangely like to drink alcohol-free spirits. Um, and over the last two or three years, I've really tried some really dodgy, poor quality product. But actually, this one isn't bad. So I'm just going to what what they tell you to do is they tell you to take a, a measure of the product. So in my house, I use this, okay? The top one is the double measure and the bottom one is a single measure. I've never used the bottom one ever, okay? So it's standard practice in my house to have a double measure. So I'm gonna pour a double measure in. Oops, filled it a bit then, glad it's not gin. That would be a terrible waste. I feel like Fanny Craddock now doing a cookery program. And then, so, so the garnish is pink grapefruit. So I'm then just going to add a little bit of ice. I want to have ice with it. 
I'll do it fingerly, so right. And then of course, my old faithful, a bit of fever tree um, light tonic. Um, I've bought pallet loads of this stuff since it came out. And for me, it's great because this is really low sugar and it doesn't override the taste of the gin, which is all important. So I'm gonna pour that in now. And of course you could make this into a cocktail as well, okay? I think the way they describe it is they say that the product um, has notes of juniper, lemon and coriander. So that's Cotswolds number one. Quite well priced, 25 quid, but then it hasn't got any alcohol duty on it, which is worth about eight quid a bottle, I'm told. So, um, but um, actually, um, cheers. Cheers. I feel I'm missing out now. <laughs> and you know what? It actually tastes all right. Um, you know, you, if, if I was out with a group of people and that you're having this, you're not feeling like you're missing out, I think, which is the whole point that, you, you know, if everybody else is on a gin and tonic and you're on this one. Yeah. I mean, if I could learn to drink this all the time, you know, I wouldn't need the dragon, would I? But anyway, <laughs> unlikely to happen. So that's the um, alcohol-free spirit product. Okay. So um, that's the beverages part of my new find. So I've now got a couple of um, snacking products, which are very, again, very interesting. So this product is called Chica's, okay? Yeah. Now, this is, um, Chica is in fact um, a woman. She's from Nigeria originally. And she's basically launched a, a snack range with an African influence, okay? So they're using ingredients that have come from Africa. They do three different types of product. These are the rice cakes, which are really nice. Again, sometimes those kind of rice products, rice cake products taste like cardboard. These actually have a good flavor profile. And then there's also um, uh, lightly salted plantain chips, which are, again are pretty yummy. And then also you've got um, a range of smoked almond products. Okay. Oh, right. yeah. so these are all really nice, really good products, but there's also a really strong message um, from a, um, CSER point of view, okay, because this um, Chica um, supports a, a charity and it's uh, called Snacks for Change Partnership with World Vision and they donate 1p per pack to this charity and the aim of the charity is to support the education of African girls, particularly in Nigeria, where culturally the boys go to school and the girls stay at home to do the housework and everything and so they don't get an education. So Chica wants to, you know, move, change that because she was fortunate that her parents sent her to the UK when she was younger. And so she got a good education. Um, and so there's a real good, um, you know, um, social enterprise message behind the product as well, yeah. which, I, which I particularly like. So Chica's is definitely one to watch. Definitely. And then the other front product is called Ollie's Pretzels. Um, now... Ollie brought out Ollie's Olives, and he's again a sort of young entrepreneur bringing new products to market. This is really nice, it comes in two flavours. So you've got um, ready salted and multi sea sesame, which is my favourite. So they're really thin, they're like, um, uh, they're, they're thin. They're really good for using in dips and things. So you can have them as a, and, and they're nice. Again, the good thing about them is very low in fat, only 6.6 .6 grams per 100 carbs. Okay, 47 grams per 100 because it's flour, it's not louse in it. But sugars are only 5.6 per 100. Quite high in protein, 7.6 grams per 100. So a nice, um, a nice snack and only 100, below 100 calories a pack as well. So those of you who are watching the calories, um, you know, you can have, you could actually, you could have that with the um, alcohol free um, gin. And hey, God, how good are you being? You know, no fun. So, you know, that's another one. So those two quite interesting products from that point of view. 